Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome to my channel and my studio. Welcome to my Wednesday live stream. On Wednesdays, we go live. I think that would be a great t-shirt. Anyone? Anyone? Uh, I want to start out today by welcoming you all here, but I also want to wish a very happy birthday to Ellie Hicks, who is watching today. She is a young crafter and she's celebrating her 15th birthday. And I found, I had to do it. I have a picture of me. I think it's 14 or 15. Ellie, this is for you. That is. Now I just want to, I just want to point this out. That's like a hair helmet. I mean, I, I had an F, an a fake Angora sweater. And I thought that I was going to be so popular. And that's <laughs> just hot rollers, right? Just went down. I went for it. I was going for it. Anyway, I just want to show you that, Ellie, because here, here's the thing you have to look forward to. Someday you'll get to be a cool middle-aged woman as well. Okay. Okay. I know. It's, it's so much purple. See, for all of you who think I don't like purple, I think, uh, well... There you go. Uh, I'm going to say goodbye to me. Also, those are not the teeth I have today. It's a whole story. It's a whole story. Goodbye, 15, 14, Everett Washington dwelling calf. Okay, it's good to have you all here. I just had to do that. The nice thing about having all of your digital photos, nice and the, the downside and the upside. One, one of the upsides is you can access everything when you need it. One of the downsides is that if your computer crashes... I do back up. I back up on hard drives and I back up. I back up off site. We just pray that we don't have a meltdown. Anyway, it's great to have you here this Wednesday. Um, I have a card planned today, I think, but we're going to keep it really chill. I'm going to tell you in advance, however, I think the stamp set is already sold out at Gina K's site. I think there are a handful left at Simon Says Stamp. What can I say? Lisa Hetrick, you knocked it out of the park again. Let's go to the table and take a look at the stamps I'm using today. So here's what I have. I have Lisa's beautiful, uh, speak, speak beautiful things stamp set. And this is designed by Lisa Hetrick. I know that Lisa is going to be going live either tomorrow or Friday to show more of, of her amazing work. Now here's the thing. Lisa is a painter and an artist and I I like legit straight up, right? I don't want to paint this. I have an idea for a very simple card today. And as soon as I cuz this is this is what was um Gina sent this to me. So thank you Gina. I love it when uh when you send me something to play with because this is really beautiful. And of course, for those of you who love to color like or paint, right? Like like Lisa, mm, it's going to be good to go. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do something simple. We're gonna do something simple, and I want to show you this because polyglaze foil sheets. I have some of these. I did a short video um, on my channel. It it's like the cutest card. Let me show you the card. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I did a little uh, I did a little short video, and I have to show you this because sometimes when you do the short videos, you just don't get the context. But I thought this turned out so well, right? Loved it. But I, I did a bunch of these at once, the, the polyglaze greetings, because I have the dies. And I saved all the extras. Look at that. So I'm going to use uh, one of these. Oh, Anita, Everett Washington. Well, we were neighbors. Yeah, I grew up in Everett Washington. I'm an Everett girl, born in Seattle. Uh, and actually, uh, Emma, I know you're out there, remind me to post a link to the short video if you want to see how this came together. It's, it's 58 seconds, so please know that's not real life. All right, I'm going to set that aside. Okay, rolling back in. Now, so I have my greetings already done. I'll pick one. I don't know what it's going to be, but that way I don't have to foil or do anything, you know too wild. I'm going to set this aside. Okay, so here's my inks today. I pulled out little uh, Inky Inky Versafine Claire Nocturne. And then I pulled out Gina's three Carnation series. Now I know these are are out of, oh, they, they are on her site. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wait, which ones are on the site? The Polyglaze. Yes. And I didn't link. No, I did link this. 
I've got this linked both uh, to Simon's stamp and Gina and the dies. Okay, now I have these three, but here's the thing. Here's what I want you to keep in mind today. If you have any sort of outline stamp or two-step stamp, something like this, this will work, right? We're just gonna do the simplest card today. And any inks that you have from lightest to darkest, I may even do a little stamping off. I might do a stamp off. So let's get started here and bring in, uh, bring in my Misty. Now, <laughs> my grand kitty is here today and he may or may not make an appearance, but you know, he is a moody teen. He is, and I, uh, Ellie, I don't mean to impugn the teenage community as a whole. Oh, I can hear him playing with balls downstairs. Um, but you know, he's kind of, he's kind of fine in his way right now. And, uh, we're just, we're just going to let him, we're just going to let him be. He's a beautiful creature. Uh, welcome to everyone who's joining. And just to let you know, today I, well, I am live because uh, a lot of times I do premieres on my video, but on Wednesdays we go live. So, all right. Now here's the first thing I have to figure out. I love this little painterly thing. Now, some of you might be really good at just painting little swatches. And if you, if you, uh, if you are, you could just do something like this. But me, I kind of like to say, let's let the stamp do the talking. You know what we mean? Okay. But here's the thing. I know I'm going to be trimming this down somehow. Hmm. The first thing I'm going to do is pop it right smack dab in the middle. Now I have extra paper if this doesn't work out. Uh, cause you never know. You never know. Also, I want to tell you something that I did. I bought a new Misty mouse pad because I felt like my old one was so, uh, maybe just didn't have the, the thickness that it once had cause it had gotten, well, it had gotten really used. Um, I see that hashtag Emma Eaton. Now you keep that. You keep, don't you put that on me. Well, I mean, I no, he's not here. Uh, let's pick up the stamp, okay? And of course, I'm, you know, using my mini Misty here. I'm gonna oh, <laughs> pick that up, pop that down. Let's do some priming. You get the time, you do the prime. You know what I mean? Oh, this is making my my whole table vibrate. Listen to that good sound. We're just gonna, sorry. Oh, that's, yeah. Yes, I am live and there we are. Seeing you coming in, appreciate y'all. But the reason I'm doing this is just to get that coating off, right? Because they come with a coating that is the manufacturing process. Oh no, Franklin needs a Francesca. Um, I will say this though, if I ever do get a cat and hubby is totally down with the idea, um, we're gonna get two. We're gonna adopt two at a time because I feel like that would probably be the nice way to go. Okay, I need a piece of scrap paper. Now let me see if I have one that's big enough. Is that big enough? Is that one long enough? I'm gonna try this and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but I want my light carnation to read really lightly. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going, mm, mm, hold on, <laughs> let's take this out first. There we go. Stay with me, stay with me people, okay. We're gonna ink up with the lighter color first. But I want this to be even lighter, I think, than this is going to be. So I'm gonna try this. Oh. Bye, Mindy, thank you for stopping by. How many of you do the stamp off thing where you go tap, pick it up, flip it? I just wanna see, oh, where's my, <laughs> What am I doing? I just want to see what this would look like. And you know what? I feel like, I feel like it might be too light. I think I'm just going to have to go for it for full color because that is not really, I don't know. I don't think that's what I want. I just wanted to try it. I just wanted to try it. And now we're just going to stamp this. Yeah. Okay. Did I mention on live streams, there's just, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee uh, that we'll emerge with a finished card, but fingers are crossed. Okay, let's, let's ink up. Now here's the thing about the cat versus dog debate. I just, I appreciate cats so much more now that I have a grand kitty. I'm just gonna, 
think that's good. Let's just tap it, tap it, tap it. Light carnation, good to go. Uh, was there a bubble under the stamp? No, I think it's on there pretty well. So it just, I hope this isn't my new pad, but we'll see. <laughs> we're transferring, we're getting, a, we're getting a workout. There is no guarantee. And actually, if it's not even a perfect impression, that's fine, because this is what I want. Perfect. Well, perfect enough. All right. You know, Franklin's just great. Oh, there is a bubble. Yep, I can totally see it, but it's fine. We're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. Uh, Vanessa, I have read a bit about Maine Coons, and uh, they do seem like really awesome cats. So I believe you. Now, I want to show you my thinking, okay? Here's my thinking. I want to do an offset here, okay? I want to figure out roughly where, no, I think I want to go here. I want to stamp this part right there, okay? And then I'm going to do an offset in black. All right, let's see if that works. Yes, it is better than horrible. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I think a lot, you could do a lot with that little fun pattern, right? Now, I think, let's, let's try to envision how the offset, oh yeah, 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 that's going to be good. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this stamp, pick it up, we're going to prime it, and I will try to make sure there's no bubbles, but this, well, actually it looks like there might be. Come on now, Kathy. There we go. Prime it up. And we are going to take the next color in. I pulled all three, but I think I'm going to go with medium carnation. All right. Just reading your comments right now. Welcome everyone. Great to have you here. Last night I didn't leave many comments in Gina's chat, but I I was in bed enjoying the silence of, of my room and just watching Gina create. And then uh and then I had to I had to interact with my family, which happens sometimes. They're good people though. You know, all right, we're inking up. We're bringing this down, Misty in place, paper in the corner, and we're gonna transfer. Carol, I did, I didn't see it on HSN, but I actually went online to watch it. And I was, I was impressed. Um, I wondered if they're gonna have a big one, like it's the big one, right? I was hoping it was gonna be a junior, but it, I didn't, I didn't see the junior. It just looked kind of big, but there you go. Now, I'm inking this up again, because this one I want to be a little more opaque, okay? I'm gonna bring it through. Oh, <laughs> spread the written word. Okay, so this cute little thing is from Tailored Expressions, and they're called Pickups. I think they're called Pickups. I don't think I have this linked, because I don't think Taylor has this one in the store anymore. She might. All right, I got a little, I got a little splotchiness there. Now here's the thing though. I'm, just, I'm gonna do one more time. Okay, bring it down and transfer. Yes, I, I hesitate to say I'm getting one, but I believe I am getting one of the new Geminis. I believe I am and I will I mean, I love my Gemini Junior. You know, it fits in my space. I mean, he, you know, there it is. It's just, it's just right there. We love, we love that little friend. Uh, so I always hesitate to say I need the latest and greatest because I don't. I've been, I've been getting things. Believe me, I have enough things to sink a battleship. Let, let's be real. Got a lot of stuff in here, but uh, oh, it all serves a purpose, right? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, how many of how many of you out there did go to Creativation? I have not been to that trade show since the last time I was there. It was in Anaheim and it was 2016. And yeah, that was the last time I was there. Oh, also, there are coordinating dies for this, but I don't have them. They sent me the stamp set alone, which is what got me thinking about this card, okay? And and, and see, here's the thing too, I, I've probably mentioned this before, but 
I really like the idea of just stamping when, when you don't have to have all the things. I mean, granted, I have a lot of things here, right? Believe me, there's a lot of things in the craft studio slash office. Um, but sometimes I like a one layer kind of thing and, you know, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to do this now. Here's what we're going to do. First, we're going to line it up. And then once we think it's lined up, we're going to shift it. Because I don't, I don't want it lined up. But I kind of want to see what it's going to look like. So hold on. I got it. Where are you? Well, gotta grab it. I don't know where it is. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Huh. Oh, I can't find my, here we go, here we go. I got a little trick. Um, Emma, I didn't list these, but I, I just got these little uh, My Sweet Petunia grids and I love them. And I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna be making friends with them. Now what I wanna have here is a very clearly deline delineated offset, okay? So I'm gonna put this in here. I just wanna see how offset it is so I'm gonna stamp on this little plastic thing and you could do it on your acetate too, does not matter. And I'm actually just gonna do this a little lightly, although this is pigment ink. I wonder if I should, let me grab a different black ink. I am gonna stamp in the pigment ink because I want this to be super, super inky and crisp, but I'm gonna do my test with some memento. I just, memento's so easy to cut off or clean off. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna do that. We're gonna lift it up and then you can see how offset it is. I don't know if I love that offset, but that's what I wanna do. All right, hold on. We're gonna try it again. All right, see, just clean it off. Okay, there you go. Clean this off. And here's the other nice thing when you're doing something like this, Right, every time that you're cleaning it off to do it again, you're adding a layer of priming, right? You're getting your stamp a little bit more ready to go. Oh, Vicki, we all need, I wish, I, I I don't know, Emma, is it too soon just to ask you to move in with me because I love you? Um, <laughs> Emma is very helpful. All right, how about if we go over this way instead and down? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't want it to be so, you know, it's, I don't want it to be super awkward. Hold on here. You just a little like that. I feel like if it's just a little offset, it's going to be great. I'm still going to, I'm still going to sample it out here. Okay. And getting it going. Get in there, get up there, hold on, and let's try it again. There we go. Okay, what do we think? I feel like it's gonna be fine. Like no matter how I do it, the offset is gonna be the offset, but this is the point of the card. Offset and twist, oh my gosh. Hold on. But here's the fun about card making, right? Let's say you're you're just doing this at home. This is what this is what I do. Like when I'm just sitting crafting, I'm like, "Oh, I wonder what this will look like." And I you know, I just kind of do what I do. But believe me, you All right, here we go. I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> now that I know it's dry, this time I'm going to place it here. And I think I'm going to offset it up. You know why? because then this will feel more like a shadow, okay? And now I feel so confident. <laughs> I'm just gonna stamp it. I'm gonna stamp it. Uh, Def Shelty Mom, there's there's Franklin somewhere, but we don't we don't know where he is. We, he's, I mean, we know where he is. He's just not here. Okay, so Versafine Claire, because it's so crisp and inky, right? And then we're just we're just gonna offset this. That's all we're gonna do. It's gonna be fine. I'm putting I'm putting I'm putting too much. Uh, oh, Twyla, that's actually a really good idea. But I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm I'm 
I'm spending too much time. I think this is going to be great. And I love, 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 love this ink. I mean, look at, look at how it looks on the stamp. It's going to be great. Corner, bring down and transfer. So purposefully offset, right? Let it transfer, give it, give it some love. This is also my little Stampin' Bug that I started using and it feels really good in my hand. I need something big to hold on to, even though I have kind of small hands. Oh, look at that. That's exactly what I wanted. Mm, mm, so good. Love it. So, so simple. Okay. Okay, here we go. And press. So here's the idea, right? And this is the cool thing. If you have, you don't have to have these stamps to do this look, right? Just a single little friend. Now, this is a pigment ink, right? So we, we can't just be, you know, touching it and smearing all over it. But that right there, I'm loving. And I'm not doing anything in the leaves, right? I don't care. I don't want any other color. This is completely monochromatic. It's funny, last night I was watching Gina and, you know, she said she really doesn't know what she's doing when she starts. And a lot of the time, that is how I approach it too. And at first I was scared to do that. Back when, back when I was first starting to test out going live, uh, or even, even before that, I made every card first before I started filming for everything, just because I wanted to make sure I knew what I was doing. And when I stopped doing that, I actually started having more fun. Oh, I forgot. There's another stamp in here. Hold on. Uh, with the card. Let's put it back in and stop talking. There is that little center bit. And I want to add that because that's going to give us, you know, a little, a little something, something. So let's just kind of get that in there like that. I like that. Okay. Anyway. Once I started not knowing, I had more fun. Now, sometimes I do plan in advance if I know there's going to be, like if I have a general idea and there's a lot of die cutting because I feel like because I use an electric die cutter, it kind of gets old after a while, right? All right, we're just going to add these very simply. Doesn't It's random. Random. Perfect. I don't even, I don't even think I need to second stamp those. That's good. That looks good. Okay. Also, I think this would be really cute stamped in and around just as a pattern, you know, just as like little pinky pinkies. Why are we talking about cuttlefish? I used to collect cuttlefish when I was a kid. Didn't I? Something like that. Out in Muckatillo, for those of you Washington West Coast girls, you, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm going to set my stamps aside for now, and I am going to show you our potential greetings. Oh, you know what I need? I Shoot, I need my splat box. Hold on just a second. I'm, I'm going to go in my closet. I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, there are crafty things in my closet. Okay. So... See, where is it? Splat box. I um, I did some splatting the other day, and um, I thought I was protecting my surface, and when I pulled the splat box away, uh, I had so much splat everywhere, and I was I was panicking. Okay, so while this is drying, though, I do want to I want to dump these out because these I've already done. Oh, hold on. Well, let's just dump everything. There we go. These I've already done using the coordinating dies. And gosh, these dies are so cute. I mean, I have two so very gratefuls. I have a birthday wish for you. And I have thank you. And these have all been foiled using these sheets. The uh, polyglaze foiling sheets, right? I'm not, and I'm not doing any extra because I'm, you know, saving these for when I need them. But I cut them out, and now I know, I I know, I well, hmm, I think I am going to do 
a so very grateful for you on this card because I think it's elegant. I think it's really pretty. While this is drying, let's grab some foam squares. <laughs> oh, all right, let's see. Are these my thicker ones? They are. I'm going to use my little Simon Says Stamp 3D foam squares. And these are the thicker ones. So the polyglaze sheets are amazing in terms of foiling. I feel like they have made me, well, I've been using my mink lately. Um, I have a video coming tomorrow for you that is so fun. And I, I'm not going to give anything away, but you're going to want to see it because there's someone special in my video tomorrow. Um, and I, I do some foiling tomorrow. But this has made me like want to bust out my mink again because I never, <laughs> never had really great luck with um, foil based products like the toner based things. Um, and now with the, well, with the, uh, with the mink and the polyglaze, they work every time. However, I have recently gotten much better at general foiling of sentiment strips when I realized you just need more pressure. Pressure. No, Vicki, no, no, Dan. <laughs> no, he's not. You know, I mean, I have said if I, see, I'm giving everybody the proper support. I have said if I reach 75,000 subscribers that I will have a special and Dan will make a card. And I think, I think he will. I just have to make sure. <sighs> I don't know. I have to make sure he's set up and supported. All right. So now see how we have that nice little bit of, and again, I could do this lower too, and I might, I might. All right. Now I want to add a little splatter to this, but here's the question. Now here's the question. Would you do a little black splatter or would you do a, um, like a like the colored splatter because black splatter is kind of cool. And when I say splatter, I mean spatter or splatter. I know there's a difference. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Okay. What do you think? Black or colorful splatter? Because I have here my little see Vicky, I think you're right. I think I think black would be neat, but if that is the case. Um, I am going to have to be very careful, uh, with my things. So let me, let me bring in the box. Ooh, let's get these out of the way. I don't want to, I don't want to get, I don't want, well, you know, okay, gold. Oh, wait a minute. Andrea. Oh my gosh. Can I show you guys something I just got? Okay. This is going to make it very tricky. Remember I said that I had a gold. Hold on. Oh my gosh, where are you? Here you are. Here you are. All right. I just bought, I placed an order at Brutus Monroe. This is the Aqua Pigment in Gilded. Now, this this will read gold on the on the white cardstock. <laughs> Lori says neither. Val's Art Lounge says both. See, but I gotta I gotta preserve the simplicity. So of course, if we do gold, right, we're picking up with the grateful. And I really just want to go, you know, just like that. <sighs> yes, Geraldine, it is. But you know, I'm okay. You know, if someone tells me I'm saying something wrong, I'm, you know, that's fine. I'm fine with it. I'm okay. Um, I am going to spread some protective layers out here. Now I know the splat box is what it is, but here I'm going to cover up my computer. You can't see what I'm doing right now. I'm going to put a bib on. I think I'm going to try the gold because this is a new product that I just got and it's, it's really neat. Okay. Woo. All right. Uh, we're going to put this in. See, there we go. Okay. That's how we're going to do it. And then we're going to make sure that's out of the way. <laughs> and here we go. Get out of there, my phone. And now I'm going to shake it up like that. Really good. It's real pretty. <laughs> over protector. Now here's the beautiful thing. I can do this right on my mat. Um, I'm going to spray a little bit of this right here. I just want to get my brush wet and going. Um, you know what I didn't do? I didn't grab, hold on just a second. 
Try not to look at my bum. Okay, here we go. Because I don't have a, uh, I can get a rain cape. Because I don't have anything to wash my brush right, like I don't want to go to the bathroom and wash and make you all wait, okay? I'm going to put this aside so I can rinse my brush off. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my I am prepared to eat a lobster. Okay, I'm going to put this on my mat. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So shiny. And oh, and just opalescent and beautiful. Picking it up really nicely with this. I'm going to just do a few to get some of the big globbies off. Bring that in. And that's it, I think. Hold on. I'm just gonna do a little. That's it. Good. <laughs> I just painted my thumb. And I just wanna rinse this off really well. All right, that's all I'm doing. So simple. Not too many gold splatters or spatters anywhere. Bringing it in. You think I should do black too? Oh my gosh, but what if I Mm, hold on. Let's take a look at this real quick. Now, you the shine is nice. It's very subtle. Oh, we, Andrea, we did this, but you know, I think I'm going to, well, shoot. The thing is, if I do black, here's what I want. I just want it a little, no black, black too. Oh, <laughs> you're making it tricky. Let's visualize. Where's my greeting? Hey, where's my greeting? Why are you always lit up there, my phone? There we go. Check it out. Yeah, you know what? If I it, it's it's you're not seeing as much of the gold. It's it's really there's there's some shine on there. Um, so I'm gonna just set this aside to dry. Let's move the splat box. Let's see if we have any. Little guys that need to be clean. I think this will be fine. Oh yeah, that's good. Okay. Fan brush, did not, uh, I'll add this to the supplies. Love a fan brush. Love it. Okay. Oh, I really like this. I really like this. So yes, this is the Aqua Pigment from Gilded. Oh wait, this is the Aqua Pigment Gilded from Br Brutus Monroe. Now I don't have black pearls. I do have gold pearls. I don't know, sometimes I do get a little conservative with my choices and and that's okay. You know, that's the beautiful thing about when we make things. It's like some people are gonna go all in and some people are gonna be, eh, eh, dial it back a little and it's all good. It's all good. So that's, that's that friend. Now, the question that remains, let me zoom in here. You know I love a white note card. I actually think a white note card would be beautiful. You know, um, so I am going to get my card stuff. Where are you? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, oh, I gotta show you another new thing I got. <laughs> um, I am also planning to trim this down. Now I do have Gina K Master Layouts one and I might do a thin black layer not sure yet but I wanted to show you I bought the score buddy eighths and I have a score buddy already did I well my it's not really laying very flat though it's making a noise it's kind of bugging me but I was doing a project where I needed an eighth and I had I couldn't find the eighth and I love this tool so much so a oh, gray note card could be really pretty too Linda that's a good idea Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Let me do two. So I bought this. Uh, I, I think I'm going to be happy. I don't know. I hope I'm going to be happy, but at least now I have all of these eighths. You know, I have a card stock that would be beautiful. Hold on. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Are you here? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, I've already got a panel. This is Spellbinder's Silver Fox. Let's see, let's pull it out and see. 
Um, sometimes I make note cards and I just set them aside and I, whether I use them or not, and we keep them and we're good to go. So I'm going to score this one as well at five and a half. And yeah, I like, I like having those eights. Okay. Oh, thin gold. These are all good ideas. Now here's the thing though. If I do thin gold, I will cut the center out. Oh, thin gold would be beautiful. You are, you are very smart out there. Okay. I'm going to fold both of these. I'm really just buying myself time for this, for the spatter to dry. And that's fine. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So we got two, we got two note cards. We have, we have gold cardstock. So let me tape these down. Yeah, um, we're, we, you guys have really good ideas because I wasn't thinking gold, but I actually think, I think gold could be really pretty, right? All right. Now let me show you my dies that I have here. Okay. I have master layouts one and I was thinking because if, which one is the bigger one? I always forget. That's the bigger one. So that would be the matte layer, and then this is going to be the other layer. So if I were to, you know, it'd be kind of fun. I could cut, I could cut like an oval or do something with the gold, but I think the gold would be really pretty. So hold on. All right. Okay. I have my matte gold cardstock from Simon Says Stamp, and what I'm going to do. I guess I am going to be die cutting. I didn't think I was going to die cut. Let me get my trimmer. Because we're, <laughs> we're running out of room here. Hold on. See, the reality is my space is not huge. And we're going to move you and bring this in. I'm going to bring in my new rotary trimmer. By the way, I now that I'm getting used to this, let me zoom out a little. I love it. I love it. It's it's doing a great job for me. I am going to cut this panel at five and a half. You just have to press in like that and it gives you great cuts. This goes back in the box. Well, this isn't a box, but okay. All right. Also, I usually order, I keep, they keep the matte gold all the time in stock. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze, hold on, uh, because Excuse me, because I love it so much. All right, now let's get back into our zone here, okay? Card, card bases, and this is where I just need to make sure I'm not messing it up. And I will go here and make sure that's the smaller one, yes. Okay, I think what I was thinking is, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cute if I just took a little, um, what if I just cut something like that out of the center and just set that? Oh, thank you all. Uh, if I just did that, wouldn't that be, I think that would be cute. And then I would have a little oval and I will put that just in my little scrap pocket and maybe come up with a card later. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Is it, it could it be, could it be a uh, pollen? I don't. Trust me, uh, minute or spring has not come here yet. Apparently, it's going to be here a little bit this weekend, which is which is fantastic. I guess. Um, hold on. Now I'm going to tell you something that I don't. Please don't judge me. Okay. Just I'm just going to say it. And anytime you start out with a phrase like that, you know you're about to say something controversial, but. The birds in spring kind of bug me in the morning. They're so loud and they're right outside my office and it's early and I just want to say, can you just dial it down a notch? And the thing I love about winter is they're just so much quieter. That's all. That's all. I know. I know people love the birds singing. The birds and the squirrels. I have some issues. It's, it's all going to work out. All right. We're going to cut this now. Oh, things are flying. Here we go.
I'm not anti-bird. It's just, they're just loud. And sometimes when I'm working and creating, I just, I love quiet. Someone asked me the other day, what music I listen to when I'm when I'm jamming and working on stuff, and my answer was silence. But that I don't. I just I love quiet uh, for working. Now see how cute that is. Oh look at that tape does not do any damage. And now I have oh look at that. Look how cute that is. I have a little. Well I'll poke those out later, but I have a little medallion that I could layer with. You know that and do something cute. I don't know what that's going to be, but I'm going to put it aside. All right. Now I have to cut this and I feel like it's dry enough. So thank you for bearing out all my chattiness. Oh my goodness. Let me take a little sip of the, uh, the ambrosia. Mm. Anyway, how's everyone doing out there? Good. Good. Great. Now, before I cut this though, I need to make sure that I have, again, want to make, I always double check this with this die set, right? To make sure that that, yep, yep, we're good. Okay. It's going to be a very thin little uh, layer. But now here's where I have to figure out the crop because I want to have, I just don't know how, I, I kind of like this to be a little more offset. I don't really necessarily want it overlapping the flower. Is that pretty? I kind of like that crop and I don't usually, uh, I don't usually shift greetings to the right, but I'm kind of liking that. So I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I, I think, and I will be honest with you, I think it is something to do with your brain processing information as you get older, for me anyway, because I used to listen to music all day long when I worked, you know, irregardless of whatever was happening, and I can't do that anymore. Now, my husband, I'll tell you that in just a minute. All right, let's go to the die cut cam. Flip it. I flip it every other time. Oh, Andrea, I totally get that. I have very mild in my left ear and I only notice it if I'm focusing on it. Um, but uh, I, that makes sense to me. Most of the time though, I feel like it just feels like it's electric, the sounds, the sounds of electricity. Um, but my husband listens to music when he's home. He has a little office set up in our master bedroom, which isn't really, it's just his room and I have my own room. He listens to music all the time and it kind of drives me a little bonko because it's loud. It's loud to me to just hear this really random alternative music blaring. I don't even know. It's, it's, you know, he's a, he's a good, he's a good egg. Okay. Now let's get out our tape runner. Gina. And let's try the hardest thing of all, which is the Gemini is too noisy, right? It's like, what, what is going on in there? Uh, uh, now, see, this is just, see that shine? See how it's catching the light? Oh, is it thundering? It is. It's just bizarre here. All right. And I hope those of you who are in the path of storms are staying safe. Because, you know, uh, Minnesota is usually smack dab at the top of Tornado Alley. But we haven't had much uh, destructive uh, nature events recently, which is nice, but boy, I I hope everyone's staying safe out there because it's, it's a little wild. Okay, now, can I stand up and just get my head in the way a little? I'll zoom in so maybe my head isn't, right? So I got that little surprise back there and we are going to, we're going to do our best. This is, this is one of the hardest things in crafting. You can do it if you believe. I believe that we can, Matt. I believe that we can, Matt. And I think mostly, did I just do it? Yeah, that's good. I'm not going to get too bent out of shape. I think that looks very nice for the purposes of what we are doing today. Ooh. I'm going to flip it, press it. All right, look at that. See the shine? Woo, 
Let me get some foam tape. Now, I am a foam tape. I like foam tape. I, you know, I know there's fun foam. I just, I love, I don't ever buy it. And I just love foam tape. It's just one of those things, you know, like, I don't have a lot of shoes. I, I really don't. My clothing is just abhorrent. It's not, like, if you saw me, <laughs> that's why I don't go to trade shows. I have nothing to wear. I don't leave the house. But I have foam tape. And I am not afraid to use it. I'm not afraid to use it. Okay. Carla, I do, I actually can craft with YouTube on. So sometimes when Gina, uh, especially on Thursdays, when Gina is live, I love her. I just love watching her. She, you know, she's the best. She's the best. I've learned so much from her. And uh, I will, I can have Gina on and do work. And, and it's great. Sometimes too, I will actually bring my iPad in here. I have two computers. I have one over here that I work on and I have this one here that I live stream on, but sometimes I'll just bring in an iPad so I can put Gina right off to the side and I can see her and hear her. All right, I'll put this away. I am, this is, I am liking this. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Coming in a little here. So I think I think that's great, right? That's just that. Who, thank you for that suggestion. I think it's great. Now, I think in this regard, I am going to have to do a white note card. If I had done a black mat, I would have done with Silver Fox, but I feel like this is going to be really pretty on this note card. And yeah, I'm going to actually give this a little tape down. And yeah, so I'm feeling pretty good feeling pretty good today. Again, there's, there's stuff coming. Oh my gosh. There is like, so there's a new Simon Says Stamp release coming tomorrow called Beautiful Days. I will be sending out an email at midnight, midnight Eastern. So if you're on the West coast, you know, it's going to come. Uh, and, uh, it'll have links to all my new releases. I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I have things in this release and I hope you like them. And that is all I can say, but I, but I have a surprise in my video tomorrow that's gonna put a smile on your face put a smile on my face especially when she agreed to do it so that's all I can say that's all I can say and I will do a premiere oh I forgot to tell you that I will do a premiere tomorrow at 11 a.m central so that way I'm not overlapping with Gina's after afternoon by the way I'm doing my liquid glue just because I want to have a little bit of wiggle room, right? So yeah, I'll premiere my video at 11 a.m. Central. I'll post that tomorrow morning because I can't post it early. Otherwise, it will show you some of the new releases and that's a no-no. We don't we do not do that. We keep it top secret uh, until after midnight. But I'll be chatting live in the comments during the video. All right, let's pop it down. I'm going to stand up. Oh, there's my head. Oh, I love that little frame. Gina, are you proud of me for getting that? Oh, I love this. It's just so, so simple. Oh, I mean, that's, yeah, I love it. Okay, and then again, we're gonna put our little grateful down there. So we're creating this nice connection, right? The greeting connects. It connects visually to the bottom of the swash, right? It's not... It's not random, right? There's a connection to the elements. And of course, we've got a lot of repetition happening with the gold and the, you know. Okay, so let me see here. All right. What? You know, I had this, this in my mind, but the rest you all helped with. So thank you because I, I didn't think about the gold. I wouldn't have thought about the gold spatter. Gold spatter, gold splatter. I guess it doesn't really matter. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I will be here all week. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh, come on now. Here we go. We have the technology. You know what we don't have uh, here at my house today? We don't have a dinner plan. <sighs> also, 
Frankie, my card. Oh yeah, Kathy, I don't stay up that late though. That's that's why you have to subscribe to my newsletter. How many of you are not subscribed to my newsletter? Because if not, um, I have a subscribe button in the YouTube description. Hit that. If you're new, you'll get a really cute little uh, printable color chart that you can use with any of your uh, alcohol markers or markers, whatever markers you have, if you wanna make your own little swatch chart and practice blends and all that fun stuff, you will get that if you sign up for my newsletter. Plus then I will tell you every time I have a video. Uh, all right, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna put it right, right about there. I love it. I love the float. I love the shadowing underneath. I think that's really fun. All right. I'm going to grab a few more things here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. We are going to get something that I've been obsessed with. Now, where are Oh, here you are. Here you are. Uh, Studio Katia Gold Foil Pearls. Okay. I got these recently, and uh, I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with the pearls. Text you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Emma. Thank you so much, Emma. I hope that that link should work because Emma's a moderator. Um, that's my newsletter. So subscribe. It's, you know, and if you're, if you're, if you get tired of my newsletter, you can unsubscribe. I have a lot of people from the old days of scrapbooking who probably think, Kathy, all right, enough with the cards. And I'm like, well, I don't know. I kind of like the cards, you know. Cards kind of changed changed my life, uh, and that's that's true. That's very true. All right, I'm gonna pull out a few pearls, but I don't, I don't. I need a mini. Now there's some really tiny ones in here. They are so cute, but I might have to. They might have to dump out some more. All right, I've got a few here, and. Sorry, I can't see your comments right now. I'm just, I'm just so focused on the, I'm here now. There we go. Oh, don't flip over. Gina was saying it's like a, it's like, it's like a turtle on its back. That can't go there. That can go there and there. Now I got a deep dive. Hold on here. Do I have another bin? I know here I do. This is why it's kind of nice to have extra trays. You can get these from Simon's Stamp and they come in a four pack because when you're on the hunt for the BBs, as I like to call them, oh, there's a BB. Come here, BB. BB. It's also what we call uh, Franklin. We call him BB. Well, I call him BB. Aiden calls him Bug. It's the cutest thing. Okay, so now we have a pretty little scattering like that. What? It's boop time. You know it. You know it. Hey, Stacy. Hello. All right. See, this is why I, you know what though, this guy, he has a little black side and I don't like that. So he's not going back in. You can be picky with your sequins, right? Or your, you know, you, you, you can, you can find the perfect one. How about that? No, that looks a little dull. Hold on, you're getting out of there too. I know, I know. Okay, that's where, well, you know, you're not going there. Thank you, you're going here, right here, and there, and that. Oh, now I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm second guessing myself. I think this will be fine, like, <laughs> good. Or wait, was it over here more? Was it more like, there we go. Sorry, there we go. Sorry. As, okay. Whew, okay. Uh, it's time to drink. Okay. Mm. Love that LaCroix. Okay, here we go. And now we're gonna go here. Mm. Get our liquid glue and time to boop it up. And. I will say too, I think it's amazing how Gina can just put her glue down first and visualize. Like I always have to have my embellishments, you know, not, uh, they have to be down in order for me to see them. And uh, yeah. Oh gosh, pick it up. 
Come on now. Oh, shoot, get up. Get up. Crap. Crap on a stick. There we go. Boop. Sorry. And yes, I, I see people. I, I You know what, though? I don't want to put too, I don't want to do too many. That's where the beauty of pulling it in. Just pull it in. Pull it in a little, right? A little, little restraint. It's going to be fine. And we'll talk about numbers. Boop. Mm. Oh, get over there. Come on now. A little dabba doo. A little yabba dabba doo. And boop. Yabba dabba doo. Now, here's the thing. I want to I wanna talk to you. I want to talk to you about design because that is the finished card project. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm loving it. Card. Card making makes me feel good about me, and I love that. I I do uh, because you know we don't we don't have enough things that you know we celebrate about ourselves, and that yeah that's a good thing. Hold on here, got a little little runny nose, and then I'm gonna wipe off with my tissue like this. Okay, okay. So the reason I stopped at five is I do like the number five. I think a little restraint is fine. And also what this does too is it guides your eye down and it adds weight to the greeting. That's it. So here we have this beautiful thing that takes your eye in and this trails your eye to so very grateful. Really subtle, right? I just don't think I need more up here because look at that gold. I don't know if I'm going to be able to photograph that spatter very well, but that's our finished card project. And that was in an hour. And you know what's so funny? Let me see if I can go to my dual cam. Yes, it does work. Woohoo! <laughs> um, it does work. Uh, even a simple card takes an hour. I mean, I didn't really, I guess I did do some prep, right? Because I had my greetings already done. But again, if you have any kind of st two-step stamp at home or a three-step stamp, try this technique. Do the slight offset stamp in black with that outline layer. And even if you don't have a stamp set like what Lisa Hetrick designed, you can do a messy wash of color. You can even just swipe your ink pad across the background, right? And that would be really cool too. So yes. Uh, Oh, Jules, welcome. We love having we love having new crafters because you know what? I was one too and this hobby just got me hooked. I still like have so much joy every time I make a card. And do I send out all the cards that I make? No, because then I would be sending out like three cards a day. Doesn't matter. The joy is still there. Um and I do send a lot back to the manufacturers for them to use as samples. So, yes. Hey, Amy, there you <laughs> There you are. It's spatter. No, it's splatter, spatter, you know, tomato, tomato. Uh, there you go. It, it, it just doesn't matter to me. You're all welcome here. You're all welcome here. Now, a couple things, a little housekeeping. Uh, uh, okay, tomorrow at 11 a.m., I will have a video for you. Friday at 7 a.m. Central, I will have another video for you. Friday at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, you got to come join us on the Simon Says Stamp YouTube channel because I'm going to be Heidi's guest and I'm going to do a little demo, a little tutorial. I'm going to have some things done, I think, ahead of time because I'm supposed to do it in about 15 minutes, but the card I have planned is so cute. It features one of my new products and one of, and another new product from Simon Says Stamp. So set some reminders via fun lunch tomorrow again, 11 a.m., subscribe to my newsletter. Uh, and yeah, does anyone have any questions for me before <laughs> Kathy's so popular? Yeah, I don't know about that. You know, I it's sometimes when there's new things coming out, I would ideally just have three videos a week so that I don't hit people over the head with card making. But this week, there's a ton and it just happens sometimes. Um, I'm sure Amy out there, you know, it just sometimes releases overlap from companies and you end up. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Subscribe to my newsletter. You'll get uh, info when I have it on new releases, especially uh, the CZ design line, which is sold exclusively through Simon Says Stamps. So 
thank you, Simon, for keeping me around and uh, the good people. And uh, yeah, I like them, but that's my card. So I am gonna go take some photographs of this card. And what's so nice, at least with the time change, I can go downstairs. Oh, let me see if I can get Franklin up here. Hold on just a second. Hold on, Frankie. Sometimes if I make this noise, you'll hear it and it'll come up <laughs> and it'll come up. I, no guarantees. All right. That's all I can do. Sometimes he hears it and he comes running. Cat toys. Um, yeah, I don't think it's working. Anywho, <laughs> that's, that's my life for today. And, uh, I appreciate you being here. And thank you so much. Oh yes, I'm gonna be on Craft Roulette. I wanted to let you know that. There's, there's gonna be more information, but I am going to be a guest on Mary Gun Fun's Craft Roulette. Um, she and I are working together right now. Um, there's gonna be some great giveaways. Simon Says Stamp is sponsoring me. There's gonna be some great giveaways. It's gonna be really fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Mary's a blast and uh, it's gonna be great. There's still no cat. Um, so be sure to watch my newsletter for that because I'll definitely be promoting that. I'm excited to try it and it's going to be, well, it, it'll be a super fun night. Okay. Well, Kathy, it's time for you to go and try to convince your husband that takeout dinner is the best kind of dinner for tonight. So thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate you being here and I will see you back here with another card project soon. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.